today I'm going to show you how to get a locked MPEG-4 formatted song that usually you, when you buy off iTunes it turns out to be like that. I'm going to show you how to get it into an MPEG-3. Okay, first you'll need a CD, uh, the newest version of Windows Media Player, and the newest version of iTunes. Okay, first thing you do is have that song on iTunes. Now, make a new playlist. I just did CD Burn Playlist and added the song. I already made the CD, so it's added right here. Now, after you put it on the playlist, burn the CD, which I just told you is right here. Then, open Windows Media Player and push open it, it'll be on now playing, but when you open it, push rip, push the little tiny arrow under rip, which gives you a drop down menu, push more options, and when you open this, it'll usually be on Windows Media Audio, change that to MP3, oh, and the tab would be rip music, sometimes when you rip your CD, it'll it won't show it on in the file that it usually sets it, sets it to, which is my music. So just change that. Click change, and you can just push my music and push OK. But I added a new folder for Windows Media Music. Push OK. Then check the box for the songs you want. Then push Start Rip. After it's done. Go to Start, My Music, Windows Media Music, or wherever you saved it. Then look for the file Unknown Artist, unless it already knew the artist. Double click that, then double click Unknown Album, or the album name, and it should be in MP3 format. Now, when you, if you want to edit it, open it with iTunes. And then copy the information off the song that was in MPEG-4 format. And so, what this, the reason why you would do this is if you have an MP3 player and not an iPod, or if your iPod just recently broke and you're using an MP3 player temporarily, you can use this option to add music. You usually have to do this if it didn't have it on LimeWire. If anyone does use LimeWire. Okay, thanks for watching.